How is working your lower abs different from upper abs? Research shows that you can't isolate one section of your abs completely, but you can emphasize the upper portion over the lower area of the rectus abdominis, your main six-pack muscle with certain exercises. Hi, I'm Larry Maloney, manager of the Onnit Gym in Austin, Texas, and I'm gonna to try to clear up some confusion about ab training and show you how to train your upper abs for a stronger, better looking midsection. If you like this video, please click thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. To target the upper abs, you need to do exercises that bring your rib cage down towards your hips. This means crunch motions like the kneeling cable crunch and crunch on a pull down machine, but certain plank variations where you don't bend your spine at all can work as well. Most men won't be able to see ab definition until their body fat is in the range of 8 to 12% and women need to be 14 to 18%. Here are some of our favorite upper ab focus movements. Perform them for 2 to 4 sets of 6 to 15 reps. Kneeling Cable Crunch Step 1. Attach a V-grip or rope handle to the top of the pulley cable station and grasp it with both hands. Kneel on the floor a foot or so in front of the cable so you have to reach forward a bit with your hands to grasp the handle and you feel a stretch in your abs. You may want to place a towel or mat under your knees for comfort. Step two, squeeze your glutes and tuck your tailbone under so your lower back rounds a bit and you feel your abs engage. Crunch down, pulling the cable down behind your head as you bring your ribs to your pelvis. When your abs are fully contracted, that's the end of the range of motion. Slowly return to the starting position, that's one rep. Don't get carried away with the weight you're using. It should never be so heavy that it pulls you up off the floor at the top of each rep. Seated Pulley Crunch Step 1. Attach a lat pull-down bar to the pulley of the cable station and sit on the seat facing away from the machine. Reach overhead and grasp the bar with hands shoulder width apart and palms facing behind you. Step 2. Squeeze your glutes and tuck your tailbone under so your low back rounds a bit and you feel your abs engage. Crunch down, pulling the cable down behind your head as you bring your ribs to your pelvis. When your abs are fully contracted, that's the end of the range of motion. Crunch down, pulling the cable down behind your head as you bring your ribs over your pelvis. When your abs are fully contracted, that's the end of the range of motion. Slowly return to the starting position, that's one rep. Hanging leg or knee raise. People often think of leg raises as a lower ab exercise because the pelvis moves towards the rib cage, making it a reverse crunch motion. It certainly does work the lower abs, but it also trains the upper abs also. Remember, you can't isolate any area completely. Doing the movement with legs extended creates a longer lever and puts more tension on the muscles. But that will be too advanced for many people. If that's the case for you, performing this motion with knees bent, a hanging knee raise, is a good modification. In either case, just make sure you don't only lift your legs or knees. That would just work the hip flexors, so make sure you pull your hips all the way up, rounding your back as you do so to fully activate the ab muscles. Step 1. Hang from a pull-up bar with your palms facing forward or towards each other. You may want to use lifting straps to reinforce your grip so your hands don't get too tired before your abs do. Step 2. Tuck your tailbone under and raise your legs up, keeping your knees as straight as you can until your abs are fully contracted. Control the motion as you lower your legs back down. That's one rep. For the hanging knee raise, perform the same movement but keep your knees bent 90 degrees the whole time. On either exercise, be careful not to swing your legs up or let them swing behind you at the bottom. You want your abs to do the lifting, not momentum, and swinging can strain your lower back. Crossover crunch. Step one, line your back on the floor with your arms extended 90 degrees from your sides. Raise your right leg straight overhead, then twist your hips to the left, resting your right leg on the floor. Cup the back of your head with your right hand. Step two, crunch your torso off the floor towards your right leg. Hold the top position for a second, then return to the floor. That's one rep. Complete your reps, then repeat on the opposite side. Sometimes you don't feel focused and alert in the gym and your workout can suffer as a result. New Alpha Brain pre-workout was designed specifically for athletes and gym goers to support focus, power, and endurance. It's the ultimate way to charge up your mind and body. Use the coupon code GETONIT to get 10% off Alpha Brain pre-workout at onit.com. Now let's get back to the video. This is a good option for people with lower back injuries who get pain from crunching motions. With plank variations, you work the abs but you keep the spine straight the whole time so you won't further aggravate any existing problems. 
Get into push-up position. Squeeze your glutes and tuck your tailbone under to activate your abs. Bend your knees and arms a bit so you feel like your midsection is hollowed out. Abs brace, preventing your lower back from sagging. Step two, hold the position for time. Aim for 30 seconds to start. Here are two sample ab workouts that you can add in the beginning or the end of your current sessions, or on an off day. Alternate between two workouts, A and B, for no more than three total ab workouts in a week. Workout B, perform exercises 2A and 2B as a superset. So you'll do one set of 2A and then one set of 2B before resting. Rest and repeat until all sets are completed for both exercises. The abs need to recover like any other muscle, so don't train them more frequently than that. Exercise builds the ab muscles, but only a healthy diet can lower your body fat levels enough to reveal them. So if your belly currently hangs over your belt line, cut calories from your meals. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And for a full article on ab training, please click the link in the description.